Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna run through how to set up a campaign in Klaviyo. We're gonna go through step-by-step, step, so let me share my screen and let's jump right in. Okay, so we're here in the Klaviyo dashboard. You go to the campaign section on the left-hand side, click create campaign, and then you're gonna be prompted for a couple of things. So you're gonna be prompted for the campaign name, the date, the email, and then the tags to select. So here's a couple of quick things to make a note of here. So the first thing is determine what kind of campaign you wanna send, right? That's the first and most important thing to do is just determine what type of campaign you wanna send and why. Refer to the campaign's SOP, or there's another video that I go through all of the different types of campaigns that we can use, and that we typically use for our clients. Check that out or check out this SOP. So we follow this naming convention where we have the type of campaign, the campaign name, the campaign date, and then our agency abbreviation there. So for example, the type of campaign would be sale. The campaign name would be a Labor Day sale. Date is September 7th. And then our agency abbreviation there. The first thing we got to do here, we'll just call this sale, Labor Day, September 9th, whatever the date is. We're sending an email, select the date, you can pre-schedule it, or if you want to send it today, we're just gonna pre-schedule this one. Let's say, like the tags. So this is really important as well. So going back to this, basically what we wanna do is tag campaigns so that we can further segment in the future based on what emails people will typically open. Now, these are the four tags that we typically use. Newsletter, which is kind of about the brand, really just kind of about the brand in general. Product or collection. This could be a product spotlight or a collection drop or a product drop or something along those lines. The promotion. So this is just going to be a sale, like a flash sale or Black Friday, Cyber Monday or that type of thing. Value based. This is going to be more like blog content. This might be blog content or it might be value added content where it's like how to do X, Y, Z. So that's the next thing we we'll want to do here. There's no tag set up in this account, but you can actually just create new ones here. So you could just say sale and then create a new sale tag. Right. So it's actually really, really handy if you would want to add those in. So you then click save and continue. Again, it gives you an option to select the tags here in case you miss it the first time. And then what you have to do is select your recipients. So again, going back to here, once you've got the campaign type and once you've got the tag set up, we need to make sure that we select the right segment that is actually going to engage with the email that you're sending out. So this is a huge, huge, huge step. There's a whole video and a whole section on how to segment. So make sure you check that out uh, because this is really, really important. The success of any email marketing, especially with these campaigns, right? So again, you can refer to that SOP doc. You're also going to need to select a do not send list. So if I go back here again, we choose the segment. So I'm going to say engage 30 days. I'm going to go to do not send and I'm going to say the unengaged segment. That's it. So once I've done that, you could say skip recent emailed profiles if you want. I typically don't. And then once you've done that, you can turn on tracking as well. This is really important as well. Again, double check this before you move on to the next step but turn on tracking. Even if you're not using it right now, even if you're not doing any sort of tracking in Google Analytics, if you do that in the future, this would be beneficial. Now, the next piece is really just building it out, right? So it's not too hard once you've got to this point, you would just basically add your subject line. For additional notes on this, check out that there's going to be a video on subject line and preview text tips as well, along with just changing your sender name and sender email address. So these are pretty standard, but let's say welcome, join the club. Don't copy that copy. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, send your name, send your email address, and then use this as your reply to. And then all you need to do is go in here and you can actually start editing it, right? So you could select one of these templates, right? So you could have like a product announcement, a sale, whatever you want to do. What you're going to probably want to do is just create some templates for yourself that you can use. I'll go into another video on how to do that as well, but they've got a lot of really good options here. You could say, hey, you know what? I only want like Valentine's Day, right? Because we're doing a Valentine's Day sale. OK, cool. So this gives you some ideas. Again, you can either create a blank one or you take one of these templates and kind of make it your own. But yeah, that's effectively how you go out and build this out. It's not once you're actually in the editor, it's the same as editing any other email. So let's say I want to use this. I'm going to click on this. You can then go in here and like customize these pieces, right? Make sure you customize the all to action and enter that URL. There will be a whole nother section and there are other videos. So please feel free to check those out on exactly the steps you go through to building a campaign and optimizing a campaign, optimizing an email in general to make sure that number one, people are seeing it. It's getting delivered to them. Two people are opening it. And then three people are clicking and converting.
Hopefully this helped. Hopefully this makes sense. Thank you so much for, for tuning in, watching this video. And if you do want to see videos like this in the future, feel free to subscribe or check out the videos below. Thanks so much.